Here's a very common failure of the Navigator. It'll move really good when you're holding it like this. You'll see it actually moving back and forth. But when you actually put it in the pool, it kind of just stops and stays in one area. And I'll show you the reason for that. Put it back in the pool, it's really not moving. It's actually just staying in one area. And that's usually more than likely the A-frame uh, the A-frame and the cleaner that's gone bad. I sell a kit called the A-frame kit and I'll show you how to install one and re pretty much rebuild the cleaner. That's the main part that always fails in this cleaner. I would say you got a good year, year and a half before that part fails and I'll show you how to install one. So the most likely problem with that navigator that wasn't moving while I was in the pool is the A-frame turbine. And here's the kit they sell. Um, I'll post the um, kit number on the comments. And basically, all you need for this is a screwdriver and a one-fourth wrench like this. And, and this. Oh, you need that too? Yes. Okay, there are five screws on the bottom. There's three here and th two in here. This one here just comes out and the whole piece comes out together. Okay, so we take all five screws out now. To get that one off, you just simply lift this up and it comes right off. And there's the A-frame. It's not really spinning really well, so the bearings are definitely worn out. And you want to also replace the turbine at the same time. It's so I always like, recommend the kit. It's like wheels. Yeah, it's like a wheel. And so this also gets warped by being in the pool. So let's do the A-frame first. You take the screw off here. And then the holder comes right off with it also. And you can't snap them out until you use the one fourth socket to take the, the um, pods off the sides. So I'm going to do that right now. I think that's going to work. You can pop the wings off too at this time. So if it's tight, you just get the butter knife and you kind of put it in here. And it should pop off. They run pretty tight sometimes. And that just popped right off with the butter knife there. And then I can remove this A-frame here and get it out. Okay, that side is complete. I'm gonna go and take the other one off. You just pop this little cover off before you can get to the screw, the one fourth screw. So I'm gonna pop this off. And this other part just came right off really easy. So now we can take this out. We just need to kind of jimmy it out a little bit. And this one came right out. And yeah, same with this side here. Simply reinsert it the same way you take them out. And it's pretty easy. You go right in. Like that. And same with this side. Goes right in there like that. Let me put this guard back on. You can see that's back on there now. And I'm going to put the pods back on. And um, you don't want to put them on too tight because then it won't work as well. So you put them on, I'll show you how tight I usually get them. You can see it's actually pretty worn here on the body from the pod rubbing against it. Yeah. Make sure you put the blue inserts spacers back in before you put the pods on, of course. And then you reattach the pods, they only go in one direction. And I'll go ahead and put the screws back in. Okay, so as you're tightening them, you don't want them overly tight, but right there is the end of the tension I have, and so that's on there good. Right there like that. If you're having trouble putting the pods back on, they're actually marked left and right, so there's no mistake putting them on. But you'll know right away if you put them on wrong, they won't, the body will look kind of weird. And now we're going to put the wings back on. They're marked left and right also so you can't make a mistake. You want to put them back on before you put that cap right here on the bolt. Okay, so we have the new A-frame on. And this is actually what controls the movement of the navigator. What happens is that these will actually move back and forth and spin this, which actually moves the cleaner. So the A-frame attaches right here onto the turbine. So I usually change both. This actually feels a little worn too from the a-frame from the wheels. And the wheels here are pretty worn too. They're not really spinning really good compared to these. So I'm going to go ahead and change the turbine. Okay, yeah, so there's four more screws here on the body we have to take off. Okay, we pull this off. <coughs> and there are two more screws. Here comes the important part. When you get these two off, you have to make sure you turn this thing the other direction. I'll show you that right now when I get these two out. Okay, I got those two out. Now what I do is I turn this over, because if you don't turn it over and you take this off, there's a gearbox in that will fall out. And it's a little bit complicated to rebuild. And that's the box that controls this part up here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, 
pull this off here. And that's the gearbox I was talking about. If you open it up upside down, this thing will fall out and everything will come out of this thing usually sometimes and it's hard to get back together. So I like to do it that direction only. And you see the here's the A-frame. Uh, here's the turbine kit, I'm sorry. And it's got two bearings here that sit here. And there's a, there's a special way to put the bearings in also. I'll show you that. It's actually very simple. So I'm going to pull this out and get ready to replace it with the new one. And the turbine is also marked with an R. And this is the left part. So there's an R here for the right and an L for the left. So you can't put it in wrong. It only goes in one way anyway. This little notch here that it sits into. So you can't put it in backwards, if you, even if you tried. And there's a little notch in the bearing itself, and there's a little notch here where it goes on. So it fits on right over that notch. Okay, once you get those on, you want to set it in here. And you notice there's a notch on each of the bearings also on the outside part. If you lift this up, you'll see there's a notch inside there. So those bearings have to fit into that, lock into that notch so that it doesn't spin. So I'm going to go ahead and lock, put turn these around to lock in. So now these are locked in here. They're not going to move but this will spin and the bearings will stay locked into the frame. So it's very important to get that into that notch otherwise it won't work. So they're locked in, they're not moving, and this thing's spinning. And I'll go ahead and put the top back on. It takes a bit of practice but basically you have this um, vent in the back and you have this little notch that slides into it. That's how I kind of like to guide it in. I use that as my guide and once I get that in there it usually slides down right away. And that's how I guide it back in pretty easily using that as a guide. Now by holding the body, <clears throat> we're going to turn it over very carefully on its back. And I just want to make sure everything is good here so I spin it. Looks like everything held together when I put it back. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in here. Trying to get too confused, but there were two screws here in the middle. And then there are four will go on the outside with this part of the frame. I'm going to put these two back in. Okay, that's in there and I got the screws in secure. So I'm going to put the body back on with the four screws there. Okay, I have those four screws on, and this only goes in one way. Before I put that on, it said left and right on there. It's covered now with the frame, of course. And so it goes in one direction only. And you'll know if you got it in the wrong way, because it, it won't fit in there. So that's the correct way it goes in. Now let me put the, the five screws back in here, and get this thing back together. And if all went well, you should have your navigator balancing like this with the a-frame on the turbine, and that's how it's going to move in the pool. I'll throw it in real quick for a quick test to make sure it's working, but I think I corrected the problem there. As you can see, it's uh, moving again good. So that was the problem with this particular cleaner, the A-frame turbine. And it should be no, have no problems now for a while. And this is my navigator collection. As you can see, I have a lot of them in my garage that I've, yeah. people gave up on, don't want to rebuild.